Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, I cannot wait to share this process with you. I was able to sublimate a 20 ounce tumbler in my Cricut mug press. Now, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that the Cricut mug press is my favorite Cricut product of all time. I like, I love this thing more than any other Cricut product. I never in a million years thought I would even try it, but I just gave it a try. And on the second attempt, I was able to achieve what I consider to be success. So this is what the finished product looks like. I am so incredibly pleased with how this turned out. I can't even express it to you. Like this video does not know justice because I am super excited with how this turned out. Now I have found that cutting the paper to the right size is the key to success with this project because every 20 ounce tumbler is just not the same and trust me i tried several um, before i was able to get this get it this way now i tried another 20 ounce tumbler and i'm definitely going to show you how that one turned out because the the top of the uh tumbler is much lighter than the bottom on the first one that i tried but on the other tumbler, tumbler that I tried, I found out that it, I don't think it really was 20 ounces like it said it was in the description. But that is a whole nother video for a whole other day. Now I do have a tumbler press that came along with the StarCraft 8-in-1 heat press. However, I have not tried that. I am going to try it and see if it's easier to sublimate a tumbler in that mug press than it is to do it in this um, Cricut mug press. And I'll let you know my you know my my true thoughts about that but at any rate we are here to see what this process looks like and i want to share it with you so at the end of this video if you find it helpful please like the video subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell for notifications because i do upload new content every single week so without further ado let's get started the materials i use for this project include my cricut mug press I'm using these PYD Life double wall stainless steel 20 ounce tumblers that I purchased from Amazon. They came in a package of four. I used my Cricut cutter. I used my Cricut heat press mat. I also used a lint roller to go over the tumbler. I use Cricut heat resistant tape. I'll make sure to leave a link to the tape and the dispenser that I purchased from Amazon. I also use heat resistant gloves. My ink is Hippo Sublimation Ink. And the paper that I use is A Sub Sublimation Paper. My printer is an Epson um, Ecotank 2760. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I did was download this file from Design Bundles. This is available in the plus membership options. I downloaded it as a full print. I looked at the print settings and I made sure that borderless printing was on. Now I'm gonna use my Cricut cutter to cut it down to size. I'm gonna cut it at 9.5 by eight. Then I am going to get my mug my tumbler clean off with my lint roller. I removed the cap, so there is no cap. Just stick my hand inside, go over it with my lint roller to remove any debris. I'm gonna turn my mug press on and let it start heating up. Now, it should be cut directly to the right size. Looks like it is. I'm going to pull it as tight as I can. 
and I'm going to get it taped down. Just add some tape here in the back. Both sides, well, the top in the middle and at the bottom. And I am going to pull this as tightly as I possibly can while also making sure my design is straight. my first time doing it this way so hopefully you have your fingers crossed for me okay and I'm going to add some more tape now that looks crooked so I'm gonna take that apart and try that again because look that looks crooked and I'm concerned about that even though it's kind of a seamless design I don't really think it'll matter I just want to be on the safe side I seem to have gotten it a little bit straighter by standing it up and rolling it now I'm gonna add more tape along the seam and on the top and on the bottom and I'll speed that part up you see the tape that I did because I know I taped it fast but I want you to see all the places I put tape and hopefully it comes out well so I taped the seam I just added three pieces going across and one or two pieces going down the seam then I taped up the bottom I think I taped it up pretty good it does feel like it's on snug and then I just folded the top in and I taped it I feel like I taped it good here, so hopefully I did. We will see. It does feel like it's on snug. So now I'm gonna get it wrapped around my mug. I mean, my keep calling it a mug. My tumbler. Did I wrap the right way? I guess it really doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna add tape. see this is what the top and bottom look like and now I'm ready to get it put placed inside of my mug press so my mug press is ready the light is green let me bring it over and let's get started inside my mug press I put a piece of butcher paper that I cut in just to a into a circle at the bottom so in case you're wondering about that I put that down so it doesn't scratch up the bottom of my my tumbler so that's just a piece of butcher paper and I have two pieces of cardboard that I've cut off of um, boxes from packages that have come in the mail and I am going to place this down and I'm gonna let it sit all the way down and then I'm gonna put this cardboard in to make sure that the tumbler is snug in there just kind of bend it so you need some cardboard that's kind of that you can kind of maneuver that it's not too too tough and I am going to let it do a full cycle I'm gonna let it go all the way over and then I'm gonna rotate it um, just marking it here 
after it goes a full cycle, I'm going to turn it all the way around so that this line is in the back. Okay, so I'll speed this part up. tumbler and I am going to flip it upside down notice I have on my gloves now I'm going to use the straw to put at the bottom so the tumbler doesn't go all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to put the cardboard back in it's very hot right here Hopefully it'll go all the way through a cycle. If it stops beeping, I'll set my timer at four minutes. If it goes all the way through, I'm gonna let it go through a full cycle. I'll speed this part up. Okay, so it stops, I'm gonna set my timer for four minutes. timer has gone off and now I'm going to put my gloves back on and I am going to see how this worked out pieces of little butcher paper turn the mud press off and let's see let's see if it worked I hope it did I'm very excited hope I'm not excited for nothing this will be my This will actually be my first time trying it like this. The, the other time I tried one minute with four rotations and it worked for a part of the tumbler, but not the whole thing. This is me trying to keep my composure. This is me trying to keep my composure. This is me trying to keep my composure. goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness <laughs> I did it oh my goodness I can't even get the tape off I'm so excited it's too hot for me to take these gloves off I did it in a cricket mud press I freaking did it oh my goodness I'm gonna be addicted 
I'm going to be addicted. I did it. I did it. There's my scene. I'm not sad about it. I like it. I'm not sad about it. Now, I could have taped better at the top, but perfection is 100% overrated. I love the way this came out. I love it. I love it. Now, the next thing I want to do is try to sublim um, sublimate a tumbler in my mug press that came with the Starcraft 8-in-1 because I have not tried that. I do think it will probably be easier because that, that tumbler press will give more coverage of the tumbler. But I am overall pleased with how this came out. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Okay, if you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye! This was how the mug turned out on my first attempt. You can see I didn't put any thing at the bottom of the plate in the bottom of the mug press to protect the bottom of the tumbler. I still taped it um, good. I thought I taped it fairly well. Um, and when I started to remove the butcher paper and the sublimation paper, I couldn't really see the design through the sublimation paper. So that was my first indication that it probably didn't sub well. So you can see right there, it's very light at the top. And I was like so disappointed. You can't hear it in my voice, but I was disappointed. And I started to just continue peeling. And you can already see that the bottom um, of the tumbler is darker, which meant that I had given it more pressure at the bottom. And obviously I let it stay in there longer. But this one, I did one minute increments and I actually turned it, believe it or not, six times. Don't ask me why I did six, but it was not good in my opinion. But my daughter liked it. Um, the seam, you can see it very clearly, is very light at the top once again and the bottom is quite darker. And I just thought it wasn't good at all, but my daughter loved it and she decided to keep it. So this was my first attempt at um, doing a 20 ounce tumbler in the mug press.